What's poppin' y'all? It's your girl, Key. And I don't know how the hell you feel my channel. But I'm glad you're here. So for today's video, guys, I wanted to switch it up and try something dope. I don't know about y'all, but I'm sick and tired of forking over money, trying to get my nails done. So I decided I could do it myself. Shoot, I'm a nail tech. So I went ahead and bought tips and gel and drills and all of that so that I could do my own nails. So to put a spin on it, I thought it would be cool if I got an inspiration pic off of Instagram and I tried to recreate it. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Oh, and let me address the elephant in the room. Y'all, I know y'all see this new setup. So I am in college and I'm on winter break right now. So I'm back with the fam and I had to figure out my filming situation. So this is what we're gonna be doing for the next couple of weeks. Anyways, the system that I'm gonna be using to achieve this full set of nails at home is the appraised gel system because this way we don't have to be putting down acrylic. I don't know how to do all of that and nobody got time for that. So for today's video, the inspiration pick that I'm gonna be recreating is right here. And if you guys wanna see some more dope nails from this artist, I'll go ahead and link them down below. <sighs> Y'all pray for me. I don't know how this is gonna go. Hopefully this is not a fail, but I mean, I feel like I got a little bit of skill when it comes to painting and all that. So if you guys want to see me recreate these Instagram nails at home, keep watching. All right, guys, so here's my nails now. <laughs> the first thing that I'm going to do is a little bit of nail preparation. I've already washed my hands really good. Make sure there's no dirt and stuff on your nails. I'm going to go ahead and push my cuticles back this is so cringy so the next step that i'm gonna do is go ahead and file all my nails down i'm gonna have everything listed down in the description bar if you guys want to get all this stuff that i'm using it's a little cheap drill i got from sally's but yeah so i'm gonna file down all my nail beds to make them rough so that everything's gonna stick to them this is probably so cringy for people that are real nail techs out there. They're probably like, <gasps> no! Alright guys, so once that's all buffed up and nice, we're going to move on to the next step, which is going to be adding pH bonder to our nails after I dust, ooh, after I dust all this nail off. And with the appraise kit, it comes with um, a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna be using today. So I'm gonna take this pH bonder. I'm gonna pop this on my nail. It's a stink. Then I'm going to apply this non-acidic primer. I don't even know what this stuff does, but I'm gonna put it on anyway. These are the tips that come with the kit. They're like these clear tips. But they're not tips, like it goes on, you know, like your whole, goes on like your whole nail. So at this stage, I would just go ahead and size all of your fingers and get them all set out. Okay, for this next step, I'm gonna apply a thin coat of the Extend Gel that comes in the kit. And then we're gonna cure that for I think like 30 seconds. Oh, and this kit does come with a little light like this. But it's only for one finger, and I don't want to be here all day, so I got another lamp. They say apply a thin coat, so hopefully that's thin. Probably not. I 
I was watching a whole bunch of review videos on this kit and this step, some people didn't do it and some people did, so the instructions say do it, so I'm gonna do it. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and cure. Oh, oh, y'all, that's hot. Oh my God. Ah! Y'all, this gel over here, cookie. Mm -hmm. well, I already sized on my nail tips. So before I pop them on, I am going to file inside of them to rough them up to make sure that they stick. Dang, y'all, my hands sweating. We're gonna put some of this extend gel inside of the tip that we're gonna put on. Stuff is thick. And for this, I do like using their light. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my tip. I'm going to put it against the cuticle, push down. And you see there's some spillage on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off. Y'all, it's hard to stay in focus. So once I push that down, oh, this is hard. I'm gonna push this against my cuticle. Then I'm gonna grab my light. And oh, y'all, how am I supposed to do this? <laughs> Let me get some more gel. Oh, good Put this by my cuticle, squeeze down. I did this on my mom the other day, and it was easier that way because I could use both of my hands, but by myself. Let's see if it sticks. There's definitely an air bubble. But we're gonna ignore that. Y'all see that air bubble? It's okay. It's the first pinky. Got another one. And then I'm just gonna repeat with my other nails. The shaped nails that I got are the long coffin. They had a bunch of different Lengths, shapes, all of that. All right, guys, so I got them all attached on. That was way harder than I thought doing that by myself, but. They're on, they don't look too bad. I'm gonna rough up the tops of these tips and don't worry about it, it won't mess the clearness up if you wanna do like a clear look. It's just so that the color or whatever you put on top will stick better. I didn't cut the numbers off the ends of mine. I don't know if that's ugly, but I'm gonna keep them there because I want as much length as possible. So now we can move on to color. Now I know in the inspiration pick, she used like a regular color. I wanted to do a jelly nail with my clouds. So I got these jelly nail polishes off of Amazon. They're really cheap guys, like 13 bucks. And I got pink, purple, blue, green, orange, and yellow. So I'm gonna take the blue one. Y'all, this color is cute. Hold on. I was doubting myself a little bit, like look, this much, but this is cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. I'm excited, y'all. Look, who want Key to do their nails? You might get burnt 
and you might get, you know, your skin scraped off. But other than that, your hands gonna be looking cute. So now we're gonna move on to the fun part, the clouds. So y'all didn't realize how much gel nail polish is. So I got some acrylic paint from my art kit. And this is what we're gonna draw our clouds with. Hopefully this don't jank it up. But I got my paintbrush, some acrylic paint, and we're gonna attempt to draw some clouds on. Y'all, is that a little head cloud? Ooh, it looked like a cloud! That's the first nail. What y'all think? Ooh, I think it's so cute. I'm gonna do the clouds first and then we'll see if we wanna add any special features. I have some jewels that I use for makeup, but we can pop a couple of these on my nails, I think. I'm gonna put a couple jewels on the pinky. I'm gonna use some nail glue. Is that too big? Oh well. It's on there now. Is it really big? I'm dead. Is that ugly? A little bit, but we just gonna roll with it. I think our clouds are dry, so we're gonna go ahead and pop on the top coat, which came with the kit. The top coat is what's gonna make everything pop. Huh? Booty flaps. Stop. Okay guys, so this is one hand done. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other one and I'll be right back. And this is the completed look. All right guys, so this is the completed look. This was way harder than I thought. I give it up to the nail techs. I know y'all be putting in that work. But this was definitely fun. And if I can do it, y'all, anybody can do it, trust me. I love how these turned out. I can't wait to try out other artists' nail ideas cause these are definitely so cute. So make sure you guys follow me on all my social media. It's at She's The Key. And tag me in some nail inspiration that you guys want me to try out. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, leave a comment and a like, and make sure you have a poppin' day and I'll see you in my next video.